Okay, you guys ever had uh, that creaking in your your steering whenever you turn the uh, turn the wheel? You hear it kind of creaking. Well, um, this is kind of a redneck fix. Um, there is no play in this at all, but there's no the boot is dried out. So uh, redneck way to do it is what you do is you poke a little hole in it like that. And I was messing around with this earlier. Just poke a little hole in it. And then you can get your old white grease. Put that in there and spray in there. Which I've already sprayed in there as much as I can. But I wanted something a little more uh, substantial. So I got an old uh, syringe. And I packed it with grease. So that way I can put that in, the, in that little hole. And fill it up as much as I can. So, uh, never done this before, so we'll see. <laughs> see how it goes. Um, I just think doing it this way will be a lot um, long term, I guess, if you could say. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and stick it down in there and fill it up as much as you can. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's. The boot's starting to come out a little bit, which is awesome. We'll just pack as much as we can in there. Some's going to come out like that. Oh, snap. <laughs> That's all right. Our main objective is to get as much in there as we can. And then, we get our trusty old cheap old super glue that's not that good until I've been using that huh? I'll wait for it to right, gotta stop a little bit yeah, see what it's doing is it's pushing out that lithium grease. What the heck? Oh, man. The cap's super glued on. So look that that hole, and then what, uh, what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to put a little bit of duct tape on top of it. There we go. I knew it squared out, but I didn't think it squared out that much. <laughs> My wife. Give that a little bit of time. But yeah, as you can see, you just uh, pull that cap off, and you just pack it up with grease, and you stick that in there and shoot away. It shoots all in there. So, anyways, a little piece of duct tape. Don't need a whole bunch because it's not a big area. Get it real small. About like that. That's just going to help keep that grease from coming out. Which, if it does, you already got a hole, so you can just fill it back up. And I just replaced the other tie rod because it did, it had a lot of play in it. So, uh, well, there you go. And just uh, throw your tire back on there. Should be good to go. Um, I guess uh, 
comment if you've ever done this before. This is the first time I've ever done it, but I've heard about it a lot. But um, we'll see how long this lasts. Anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.